what a show it is. In a world where chocolates roam the street, one biscuit's life is turned upside down as he tries to come to terms with his destiny, with good and evil, with morality itself. And punch his stuff. Hey, hey! What? Featuring the creme de la creme of the Cambridge crop. Ding the bell and enter the sweetie shop. In theatres now. <laughs> this theatre. <laughs> now. <laughs> But what exactly are we getting ourselves in for, I hear you ask? Well, it's Danny Boyle and Jamie Oliver making a movie. 127 minute meals. <laughs> it's James Cameron making mints. Ooh. The Tic Tac Nick. <laughs> it's Wes Anderson making a play about sweets. Massively overhyped, but very symmetrical. <laughs> Plus puns. Excuse me, everyone. Do you like puns? Yeah. Yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. Thank God, that could have been really bad. There's a lot of puns. <laughs> Clap your hands, wobble your teeth. And get ready for a riotous wriggle through the cavernous confectionery cupboard. Get ready. Get hyped. And get chocolate. What's that? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sherbet. Give. Damn. Vetoed. <laughs> Brace yourselves for the Gingerbread Man! Ah, yes, the Gingerbread Man. A thrilling concoction of cunning confectionery and daring do of crunchy criminals and abominable bonbons, of selfless sweeties and heroic heroes. Our freshly baked tale begins in Quality Street, a society built from an abandoned tin. Its chocolatey inhabitants live a harmonious existence. The Quality Streetians want for nothing. Everyone here is jubilant and nothing at all could possibly ever go wrong. Ever, ever, no sir, not ever, foreshadowing ever, ever. and accepted as I am on Quality Street. Whether salty, sour or sweet, it doesn't matter to us. See you soon, got a split. Street. Oh, silly mayor, you'll never die. <laughs> but if you should, it would be my honour. <laughs> Let them be king. Come on, kick cats. 
Isn't it just? Good morning. Isn't it just? Good morning. Isn't it just? Good morning. Isn't it just? Hello, Cambridge. How are we tonight? <laughs> it is I, the dental dame, the molar mistress, the gum goddess. I'm only the two fairy godmother. I am an illustrious diva brought into the world to ensure that good triumphs over evil, to spread love, and to inform you that your chances of gum disease are reduced by 65% when you use sensodyne pro enamel. Picture this the year is 1970, K9. <laughs> A screaming baby is brought into the world during a molar eclipse. <laughs> She's special. She is born with a full set of teeth, a situation medical professionals deem unnerving. <laughs> her mother weeps with joy. Her father cradles her in his arms. There can be only one name for this magical child. Tooth. Sorry. <laughs> you will be. You there. What is your name? Fiona. Fiona. Lovely to meet you, Fiona. I don't look so I was just noticed, Fiona. You have some of the wobbliest teeth I think I've ever seen. It's a great compliment coming from me. Trust me, Fiona. I would make very, very good use of them, and I pay very well. But we can't both have them, can we, Fiona? And I'm the Panto Dame, so I think we know how this one's going to end. <laughs> if you'd just like to open up for me, Fiona. Play ball, Fiona. Oh, God, you do need the set to die, don't you? <laughs> okay, say ah for me, Fiona. Uh. A little more tuneful, possibly, darling. It's a musical <laughs> pantomime. <laughs> and again, Fiona. Okay, leave the singing to us. I will be back. <laughs> I went on to dentistry college, but I didn't seem to fit in. The professors there believed I had a sinister agenda. <laughs> Any thoughts, Fiona? When I was there, I met the most beautiful woman, but alas, she left me. Aww. It was worse than that, folks. She left me. Aww. That's about right. <laughs> I haven't seen her for years. Since then, I swore to always be on the lookout for abandoned souls such as myself, and to show them that no matter what, someone, somewhere, always cares. And to harvest teeth. <laughs> for real, Fiona, I am coming for that too. You won't know when, when you least expect it, I will be there. <laughs> Quality Street is the happiest of places. Nothing here could ever, ever, ever go wrong. My raisin is dead! <gasps> well, great. <laughs> when she was just a great girl. <laughs> she dedicated her whole life to politics and current affairs. Oh. I'll have some decorum. <laughs> this is a funeral. I only just found out she was dead. I had to hear it through the grapevine. Oh. <laughs> Get it? Not the fist. <laughs> she used to say to me, after eight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just wait for the light. 
It's only 7.45, and why are you in my house? And I live by that. That was vintage Mayor Raisin. In that vein, she has been turned into a 1926 South Australian vintage Chardonnay. <laughs> 650 across! Oh, thank you for those words after eight. My god, she's a raisin! Oh, <gasps> she's a raisin! <gasps> oh, no, 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 I just realised that she's a raisin! A raisin. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, young lady, Bella's got held up. Oh, yes, mate, very oh, young clock. What are you talking about? Right, I'd like to make a toast. Thank you all so much for coming. Glad some of you could make it after last night's stag party. I am looking at you after eight, you bloody dark horse. Many want a night out of this one, honestly. Right, where's the bride? Fudge. Drank on the vino already, I reckon. I'm talking, it's only cannibalism if you're sober, no, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Raising the roof, can I get a woo woo? Woo woo. Fudge, this is a funeral. <coughs> I fudged it. We need to leave. Fudge off! <laughs> Who could possibly replace Mayor Rayson? Well, I was thinking maybe I could put myself. <laughs> <laughs> Kid, the baddest kid in the sweet stuff biz. <laughs> Except for the petty for loot girl. That one was all calcium. <laughs> Why do you hate us so, Milky? I'm lactose! Intolerant. the perfect person. My boss, a oh, Mrs. Bathroom! <laughs> 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 Get rid of 
rid of anyone that looks different to us? Yeah. 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 Stop right there. Before she died, Mayor Raisin asked me to take over Quality Street. Yeah. 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 Banana can't be Mayor. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Well, look at her. She's not a sweetie. Wait a minute, she has a point. I heard bananas full of potassium. No. I heard she's gluten free. Is that no good? <laughs> but, Mr. Babri, you're not a sweetie. Aren't you exactly the kind of thing you're trying to make us hate? Oh, well, I am a self made businesswoman. When I was just starting out, I was only offered a small loan of a million chocolate coins. Oh. Whoa! She's just like me! She's All those in favour <laughs> of the sweet, precious Mrs. Barbary say aye! Oh, well, that's settled then. The new mayor is me. Oh, thank you. Thank you all so very much. You won't live to regret it. <laughs> Crunchies, seize them! <laughs> Shut out all the riff-raff snick-snacks. We'll start with Bleeny, then Palmer Ham, and that's just for starters. <laughs> down with soup! Down with bruschetta! Now to enact the final part of my plan. Eat, eat sweet, glaze, repeat. Eat, sweet, glaze, repeat. Eat, sweet, I will no down and sell every inhabitant of Quality Street. And there's nothing that can <laughs> like Olympus, London and the Pound, Quality Street had fallen. <laughs> Every biscuit bungalow was ground down to be used as apple crumble topping. The year that followed was the darkest in Quality Street's history. Mrs. Badbury, along with her lactose intolerant sidekick, constructed the ultimate monument to capitalism, a factory where they could count their chocolate coins in peace. Turns out something bad could, in fact, happen here. Milky, mm -hmm. let's descend. Yes, Mummy. I mean, Mum, I mean, no, I did not say Mum. I remember. <laughs> Milky, yeah. I've been thinking about what will happen when I eventually, you know, go to that great selection box in the sky. When you walk? When I die! Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. When I'm reduced to nothing more than a fizzled shop! <laughs> I'll need someone to take over as heir of that recording. <laughs> to be someone special, though. Someone who's always been by my side. Someone with maybe a cool hat, can handle a gun, maybe a tie. Actually, scrap the tie. Milky, I know exactly what I need to do. I, I shall. You shall what? I shall continue to listen. <laughs> I need to make an entirely new person. Excuse <gasps> me. Oh. Of course. So why didn't I think of this before? A being of my own creation will have no choice but to follow my every command. <laughs> Desperate times call for desperate measuring scales. <sighs> oh. Nigella Lawson's Nigella <laughs> Christmas. <gasps> oh, it's even more devilish than I imagined. <laughs> Here we are, page 69. <laughs> A sumptuous super soldier, gluten-free, autonomy-free, not free. Mm. 
Ooh. And it only takes five minutes. Perfect for if you're on the go. And if your first act is already getting a bit lengthy. It's literally only scene two. <laughs> now, Milky, let us begin. No, 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 Milky, not the hat. The hat is not for touching. Good. First, we shall need some self-raising flour to help make the mixture stiff, hard, and easy to rise. Stiff. <laughs> Next, we shall need a battery egg. Ooh. A chicken's demise, oh. and a kilo of butter, straight to the thighs. Naughty. <laughs> but says we'll need something sweet for the base. Uh, oh, crunchy. Would you mind just diving headlong into that boiling inferno, please? It's for the good of the company. Thank you. I've been promoted. <laughs> Bye, friend. Uh. <laughs> I've been cremated! <laughs> and finally, give a stir to your mixture, and things are about to get steamy. <laughs> Big little sweet treat, big little man. Milky and boundary same can. I will destroy the world with my new creation, man. and there's Milky nothing that can stand in my way! Seen. Not even a pantomimic dame randomly strong. Choco late. <coughs> Did I miss the party? Ooh, party oh, baby. oh, silence, fondant fool! <laughs> the tooth fairy godmother, my arch nemesis. Well, go away. This enameled contraption is upstaging my baking. You can't have. You haven't. You've used Nigella's Christmas. I'm Sue Chef. Oh, quiet in the kitchen. <laughs> We are making an entirely new person to expand our empire. We're bonding. Oh, Milky, stop singing. You haven't got the range. <laughs> but with a weapon from Nigella, Quality Street will be doomed forever. <laughs> so what to do? Five. If only there was some way of four, giving them a moral compass. Three. Funky. Two. So let's them make their own one, choices. Silence <laughs> just the thing. Oh, my microwave meal, dairy free carbonara. <laughs> Milky, I. Alive. Did we learn nothing from the naivety of gothic sensibilities? <gasps> um, hey guys. It's perfect. And we shall call him Red Man. But of course! <laughs> Red Man, do you know who I am? You are Mrs. Badbury. And what is your purpose? To serve. <laughs> Advantage, bread man. <laughs> Close enough. Now, bread man, walk for mm. mummy. Oh. 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 <laughs> well, still ironing out some kinks. I like sucking toes. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Your purpose is to rule over my diabolical dynasty of concocted confections. <laughs> We're going international. Well, that sounds pretty cool. Well, it is pretty cool. Well, you guys are pretty cool. <laughs> oh, bread man, you're the son I never had. <laughs> so, how do we do this? Well, first we disband any remaining rebel groups. <laughs> I hear the bake. Goodies are still rallying around somewhere. Well, together we will smash them into cookie dust. Uh, why? <laughs> what? Why? It is your destiny, child. Wait, that is not very nice. <laughs> but you, you are my Beyonce. And I'm Kelly Rowland. Oh, quiet, Michelle Williams. <laughs> Redman, you will embrace. 
disgrace my legacy. Why? What is this nappy pappy insolence? Oh, I couldn't let you get away with this madness. Mad brick. Oh, it is a wordsmith. <laughs> I meddled with your recipe by adding one particular ingredient. Well, surely you don't mean... Ginger, the spice of independence. <laughs> Now he can do anything he likes. Like an English student. <gasps> but I don't know what to do. Like an English student. <laughs> now, bread man is his own autonomous biscuit. He is the gingerbread man. <laughs> you could save Quality Street. You have the means. I have set you free. <laughs> Should I go now? Should I stay or should I go now? If I go, there will be trouble. If I stay, there probably won't be. But I really do not know. Catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. I'm taking the reins, gonna find my own way. I'm breaking my chains, no matter what they say. I'm running far away. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Gotta go faster Run, run, fast as you can You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man Run, run, as fast as you can You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man Stronger than King Kong, I'm willing to risk it Faster than King Kong, I'm my own biscuit I'm running, in case you missed it I just need a pair of shoes. Running cannot be the only thing you shoes, do. Anyone? I have given you freedom, but you must use it wisely. Run, run, as fast as you can. 
You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man! Get out of my granddad! Gingy ran as fast as he could, away from the factory and away from Badbury and her evil plan. Eventually, he reached the Candy Cane Forest, a mysterious place where sugar-frosted foliage crept up from the sticky icing floor, sheeting it from prying eyes, a place where Gingy could be alone. Or so he thought. I'm not paying that much for a Freddy. That's extortionate. <laughs> I remember when they were 50p. <laughs> Bouncy, that's, that's now. They're 50p. <laughs> right. uh, that is incredibly expensive. <laughs> OK, on to point number two, how to save the world. After it, you take minutes. Right, you are. OK, guys, whenever you're ready. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Of course! Uh -huh. Well, we must wait for the saviour. The one! Ooh, has he shown up yet? No, but he said yes on the group chat. And click interested on Facebook. What's his name? His name is... Flick. <laughs> ah! If you take a Freddy, they take a Twix, they swap the rabbit so that they become one of the same, mm -hmm. then the saviour pops up, eats the Twix, and the Freddy should only be worth 10p. <laughs> <laughs> Have any of you heard of the Highland Clarences? Oh, no. What? Few have. <laughs> How about um, we launch a grassroots campaign targeting the disenfranchised masses, winning over the hearts and minds through democratic willpower? Who are you? I, I was just coming in this way and I... Oh. You must be the rebels Mrs. Badbury mentioned. We are the baked goodies. What, kind of like baked goods? <gasps> he knows too much. <laughs> Bring out the strawberry lace. Mm. Huh. What? <laughs> what, what? What are you guys doing? What's the, what's the big deal with this? Oh, that seems Well, really funny you should ask. Hit it! You better show some respect before I get irate. My flow's tape, modern, I'm posh, refined, hitting you with a rhyme that's right on time. I've a rhythm and bars that are nice and neat, roughly with only the purest lyrical treats. Call me the Virgin Mary, I'm an immaculate sweet. My condolences to anyone who has to follow me. Hey, good looking, look what's cooking, easy and breezy, the with rhymes complete, I'm no chocolate, but I'm oh so sweet. Only natural sugar's too much for you to handle, son. All you need for your source of potassium, the leader of the skank. Since my life began, I've been hatching a plan to rid the world of bad breeds clan. Call me Superman, or should I say, woman. Oh, hey, good looking, look what's looking. Easy and breezy, baby. Oh, what's up? 
side, it's time for a real bar that'll crush your heart. Ah, da na na I am Garda, I'm the Iron Brew Bar. In case you haven't heard of me, check me out in Scotland where I'm top of the heat. I've got close of Caledonian, I'll leave you amazed. But most importantly, I'm politically engaged. <laughs> Scotland's fiscal autonomy <laughs> is not only inevitability, but a reality. I want Scotland to be independent, not because I believe that we are better than any other country, no. I want Scotland to be independent because I know we are just as good as any other country. Our future, our resources, and our success should be in our own hands. My friends and me fighting can't do villain it And as I proceed to go with me some perfect symmetry We are spitting the seeds of truth Am I being speedy? Too many E's? Oh righty, we don't like the way bad breeze But running a mock, giving quality streets No long stop and short horror He is not a stop, so drop the lock We are the cream of the crop on this vast top That is an existential threat to please excuse my persistence We're building block by block for me the police of resistance Oh, crumbs. <laughs> I don't really ha have a name. I don't really have anything. Are you a chocolate, you wee fart nugget? I'm Stop. 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 <laughs> they, they said something about bread and ginger. You look like a sack of flour. I think he's quite the snack. Ooh. Oh, so snack, oh. sack of flour. Oh, he's pushing me against the <laughs> So, ginger breadman, what do you think of Mrs. Badbury? Bad? In the absence of a particularly flaky member, you're in the team. What do you say? Oh, I'd love to. Friends, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Trouble. Really, I really am very. Oh, dear Lord. Oh. Uh, I, I, can't, oh, I couldn't oh, help oh, oh, your, your posterior isn't like, your quite adequately You're stuck It's causing me great distress. Well, Let's see if I've got something nice. No, um, wow. Just try these. Lederhosen? Yeah, bouncies into some weird shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, oh. Bouncy, face this way! Sorry, sorry, sorry! <laughs> you say your name was? Oh, I don't have a name. What about Bread Dead Redemption? <laughs> what about Ginge and Tonic? <laughs> <laughs> well, what about Gingy? No, what, what about... What about Gingy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Gingy, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. How do I look, guys? Oh, wow. Oh, um, oh you... Hi. You... Oh. You look tasty, Mr. Gingy. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, guys, guys, calm down. We've got a new flavour. Oh, yeah. We are the baked goodies. <laughs> With Gingy lost, Badbury had no plan. What was she to do now that her most prized possession had vanished in a puff of spice? As it turned out, the same as any billionaire in public office. Go slowly, but quite demonstrably. Insane. <laughs> Ma'am, with regards to Gingy, we don't know where him or the other baked goodies have gone. Well, he can't have gone far. He's made of bread. Try the best. So, what's the plan now? Monologue. Boom to an idea, Mrs. Badbury. Not a dialogue. Right you are. What did I just say? <laughs> Sorry, Mum. I mean, man, I mean, whoa. What? Whoa, man. No. <laughs> During my time at Badbury's, 
to which any likeness to any person or company is entirely coincidental. <laughs> I have learned two things. Hmm. Do you know the first rule of business? Um, be a dick! Oh, silence! I, actually, yes, you're exactly right, Milky! Hey, yes, no. Milky! Be a dick. The next rule is think big. What do we get when we combine these rules? Big dick big displays, displays of power! power. Yes. Oh, so Band. <laughs> we'll rise oh. like a souffle, clapping in the form of communication. <laughs> Milky? Yeah. What is the biggest thing you can think of? Um, half a grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> is half a grief. <laughs> well, I couldn't eat a whole one. Could you? Nobody said you had to eat it, Milky. They just said it had to be big. <laughs> Thank God, because I don't even like grapefruit. Oh, sweet Lord, think big, Milky. Bigger than half a grapefruit. Um, a, a, a whole grapefruit. Oh, stop talking. Okay. Everyone else is so yeah. restricted in their thinking, Milky, but not me! That's how I got to the top. But we need more. So what can we do about that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, right. Well, for the thing, I don't exactly got no at this point. I'm stalling time. You know, no. I, think, I think you said it's going to be a monologue, so I'm going to let you uh, monologue. But... <laughs> we will. <laughs> Viable. Well, we've committed to it now. Oh, think of it, Milky. Over ten trillion tons of chocolate. We could make so much money. Mummy, no. Um, what about bread, man? Double the efforts. No, triple. Oh. No, double. Before he knows it, our little bread man is going to be toast. Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> What's Bananas' deal? Oh. You have a scoundrous look at Is she your... single or what? <laughs> I think she has a significant... I think I love you. Wow, wow, we've just met. <laughs> yeah, you're right. In many ways, we have just met. Met, 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 met a theatre. Hello, audience. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling an emotion and I, I don't know what it is. Okay, well, what does it feel like? It feels like. <laughs> oh, oh dear, a female near. She <laughs> makes my heart flutter, flutter, flutter. Bubbling up like ginger beer. Haven't felt anything since the cookie cutter, but I've never loved before. Shaken to my Ben and Jerry's caramel core, I don't know what I'm feeling. 
Lovely time. This is me. Do you want to gra grab a date sometime? I mean, not like a real date. This is not nice, and I'm not really into all that meringue as far kind of stuff. <laughs> Gingy, look, you seem really sweet, but um, I'm kind of seeing someone at the moment. Mm. Kind of, kind of. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, so he's in, he's in a band, you know. Um. Um, but you can still hang but, out, but join a, the gang, a, you know. We can save the world together, we can't do it without you. <laughs> run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man! Yeah, gingy! Boom, boom! <laughs> We won exclusive. I thought you were groupy. Remember that, remember that time when Banthi shot herself in Franco Manca? <laughs> Hello, my little cavity queens. Are we all enjoying the show so far? I have just had a little message from our directors, and apparently you lot aren't laughing as much as last night. <laughs> so I have had to call in the experts. <laughs> Maurice! <laughs> and you're having a problem with your audience? <laughs> 
<laughs> Not a problem per se, Maurice. I just think we could do with a little bit of fine tuning. You know, like a piano or a fish. Tuna, fish. I can see the problem. <laughs> I thought tuna fish was golden. Yeah, it's goddamn hilarious. I'll see what I can do. Right, Maurice. I thought we could start with a quick joke check. So, Maurice, what do you get when you cross a German socialist revolutionary and a middle-class supermarket? I do not know, Toothy. What do you get? <laughs> Karl Marx and Spencer's? Not optimal. <laughs> okay, stage two. My wife has just left me. Aww. Actually, the response I was looking for there was a yeah! <laughs> awful woman, awful woman. She got the kids, but guess who got the miniature shit? <laughs> Everything's coming up tomorrow. <laughs> Stage three cheering! Give us a cheer if you've been to the pantomime before. <laughs> Give us a cheer if you've done no work for your degrees this term. <laughs> At least we've got something to show for it. You lot have no excuse. <laughs> Give us a cheer if you're both going to buy some minstrels at the interval. <laughs> you monsters. <laughs> Are you watching the same show as me? A sentient, Caroline. You should know by now you're the director. <laughs> okay, bizarre tonal shifts, check. And the pissing away of 9,250 pounds a year, check. <laughs> and I'm happy, you're all good to go. Uh, let's give it up for the frankly hilarious Maurice, everyone! <laughs> and so our intrepid Gingy continued on his journey deeper into the candy cane forest, fleeing from Badbury, but also his new friends. Like Forrest and Fat Boy before him, he had to run, run. <laughs> In his travels, he soon stumbled across a feisty, redundant fox. Mm. Now that's a snack if I ever saw one. Oh, hello. Bongiorno, pal, what brings you to this part of my forest? Oh, I don't know. I was so confused and, and I started running and, and then I met this girl and I... I think I fell in love, and uh, I tried to tell her, but she... What did she do? <coughs> she said no. Aww. And? <laughs> um, I... She made her own decision as an autonomous woman who doesn't owe you anything? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. You're on the wrong side of history, pal. <laughs> anyway, I'm guessing you want to cross my invisible yet incredibly dangerous river. Yes, please. No problemo. Just hop onto my snack. I mean back. You're the snack. You sound just like the panda from the Fox's Biscuits advert. Excuse me, and also get out of my river. <laughs> um, what? Don't you dare mention that usurper again. Oh. Um. Don't you ever wonder why the biscuits called foxes, but the brand is fronted by a damn panda! <laughs> they replaced me! Oh. Yes! Just like that! I don't even know if I am real anymore! Of course you're real! But what if I'm not? You just are! Oh, no, I'm not! Oh, yes, you are! Oh. Okay, Mr. Fox. I am wrapped with deep existential angst. <laughs> I think I need a moment alone. Yeah. I've lost my appetite. 
You win, Gingy. You and your naivety. You probably get out of the river, that's it. <laughs> I win. What do I win? Congratulations, Gingy. You have beaten that dastardly fox. You are a veritable sweetie, Nietzsche. God is bread. And we baked him. Cheeseberry, where have you been? How is Run Run Running treating you? You have left all your new friends, haven't uh, you? Yeah, I, I, I mean, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I just kind of had to take some time out to discover myself, see the world, you know. <laughs> Climb the Tobro Mountain, that was a right laugh. And I built some school for the jelly babies in the. Uh, Please, Ginger, I can see it's your mind. What do we have in here? Uh, nothing. <laughs> A banana in a wedding veil. <laughs> Have you got a crush? Oh, no, girls are lame. <laughs> in reality, Gingy was a beard. He didn't understand the feelings he was having. He was young, with no strong parental role models. Can you stop, please? That's so annoying. <laughs> he took it out on the people around him. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, Gingy, is... Running from everything, that's no life. We all need something to hold on to, anything. I was like you once. Oh, yeah. Young, oh, yeah. naive, mm. yeah. prominently carved. <laughs> <laughs> and particularly keen on one of your five a day. Oh, I feel a Latin number coming on. <laughs> when? I was a young tooth fairy. I'd look to the skies and cry and wonder where my prince charming was. You see, even a fairy must fly. Then I saw her, mean green nutrient machine, short, hot, and yonic. The effect catatonic. I fell in love with a broccoli. Ole. My parents would always say, Why don't you aim for something or play? Maybe a wafer or a nice jelly bean. But I knew all along that my heart sang a song for a little more vitality. I fell in love with some broccoli. My obsession is with veggies that I want to be. In such disarray since my love went away, I'm hungry for some brock. Ole! I've not always been so grim and rich and proper. You won't believe the things I've seen. I've had my share from sherbet to top salmon. I want to get hot with some broccoli steam. We danced on the merengue and the rumbler. Once we lost eyes, I knew it was meant to be. No spinach, kale, or pasta. I know what it means to be free. But my friends would always say, Why don't you aim for something or play? A whisper digestive, a sweetie or free. But I knew all along that my heart sang a song for a beautiful edible tree. Her bush was so green. <laughs> I fell in love. Professional fairy Getting high but ain't easy If you finish your greens I'm hungry for some brock Ole
guess I must move on, but I still see her face. I'm still in love. I'm hungry for some broccoli. As Epicurus once said, homo trash est. Huh? <laughs> I was dumped so hard I could have broken the latrine. <laughs> well, what does that have to do with Quality Street? Because I got careless, Gingy. I didn't fight for what I believed in. And now look at me. I'm just an enormously successful tooth merchant with vague but clearly godlike powers. <laughs> and a yacht. I also have a yacht. All I'm doing is what you told me. Telling me not to run is like telling a fish not to swim, or a bird not to fly, or Freddo's to stay at a reasonable cost. Seriously, guys, sort it out. Boy has a point. It's just who I am. Gingy, you stop right there. No, no, you stop right there. Damn, he's good. <laughs> I don't want any of these responsibilities. I don't want to have to do anything. Gingy! Gingy! You're not my real mum! <laughs> Puberty hit him like a train. <laughs> <laughs> Boys and girls, and today's Bounty's birthday, so when she comes out, can you all shout surprise at her, please? How would that sound? Surprise! You guys nailed it. One second. Guys, guys, turn the lights off. <coughs> guys, what are we doing? Guys! Surprise! Surprise! Oh, oh my god! Oh my goodness! Wow. Happy, Happy birthday, Bounty! Oh, Happy birthday, Bounty! Oh, oh, thanks, oh. And, and, and. <laughs> oh, a voucher for a oh, new pair of crocs! <laughs> I jolly love Bounty's birthday. It's the one oh. day of the year when we can forget how awfully lame she is. Oh, look how disgusting those crocs are. Oh, 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 Seriously, guys, can I not just have this one it's day? Not me. Why not me. you away, girl? 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 Oh, girl? How did you find us? Mate, you were so loud. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you too? <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't the big goodies, what if it isn't? <laughs> hey, Milky, your feet look real small. What? Is it because you lack toes in the <gasps> <gasps> ah, ah, Silence! Uh, and uh, my security uh, powers uh, dictatorship! Um, uh, <laughs> no. Oh, I really thought that one would work. Okay, um, we're taking you into custody. Uh, like custody. Yes, of course. Custody. Uh, Blah, uh, witty uh, reparty. Come with me. Uh, uh, hey, guys, I'm so you? sorry I ran. I've never had friends it's before and I started to panic. It's fine. It's fine. The red man. Our new celebrity. <laughs> there ain't enough room in this here town for the both of us. I was supposed to be bad news heir. You took everything I ever wanted and you, you threw it in the bin. An empire, a love, a motherhood. You have a lovely hat though. Well, I suppose it is quite a nice hat. <laughs> no! <laughs> Crunchy Caesar! <laughs> No, not that one! Go! Turn! 
nations. Shit. I can't go back to Barbary empty-handed. She'll make fun of me. Why would she make fun of you? All she does is be mean to me when I'm just trying to help. I know the feeling. <laughs> it's so tough, I... I just want to be loved. When will we ever find love? At the factory, Mrs. Badry was waiting expectantly for Bounty's arrival. Although miffed to have lost her precious bread man, she realized that Bounty was the key to luring the baked goodies to her base, where she could extinguish the rebellion for once and for all. With the rebel group gone, there would be no one to stop her master plan of turning the moon into a cream egg and taking over the world.
if I look inside. I'm just coconut dried, so no more tears are falling. I'm too dry to cry, and I don't know why. I'm still not okay, but I'm right like to play, but still. People never give me a second glance. Oh, I don't have chocolate or potassium. This could be my only chance. I just wanna feel like a champion. Oh, no, no, but you silly coconut. You're clearly one of the crew. They bought you crops, but you wear them with socks. They're making fun of Desiccated, cried, separated, deprecated, undecided. My friends palm me off like a palm tree. <laughs> I've breathed off of the acceptance is all I've ever wanted. I'm sick of their cheek. Well. How's this for cheek? All my friends can kick my butt. I can't try to cry.
had an essay deadline. <laughs> and I have forgotten the past. You know what you have to do. I must return. I understand. Lou, I... No. <laughs> Basically, Blue does this thing where she gets so hyper that time stops. Blue. The reverse side of love is unbearable loss. <laughs> <sighs> Are you all right there, old chap? <clears throat> My favorite color is happy. Perfect. <laughs> we pass the guards. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Welcome back. Bounty. 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 Don't ever do that I'm to rude. us Come again. On. Come on. Come on, Bounty. We have saved you. Let's go. Let's go. Save me? Yeah. yeah. From what? Self-esteem? <laughs> Value? <laughs> I'm tired of being kicked around like some deflated basketball. <laughs> Bad priest promised that that will never happen again. I lured you here, like a lure. No. <laughs> Bounty, what are you talking about? Come back. Say you like my like crocs. No. <laughs> well, I don't think I can. <laughs> my crocs. Oh, like, Say away, you please. like them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> I, 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 Well, well, well. Come, welcome that to your doom, but she sees them. Bye-bye, bye. Come on, I Oh, hello. <laughs> A monologue? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Bit nervous. <laughs> okay, fine, fine, fine. Um. <laughs> oh God, I'm so, okay. <laughs> I remember <laughs> screaming, Papa! Papa! Accent work, Marlowe Showcase. <laughs> Every morning, I'd go out to the ranch. <laughs> A young buck milking guinea pigs, like so. <laughs> Not my dramatic monologue! No! <laughs> of a lifetime, an unpaid internship on a zero hours contract. <laughs> so what do you say? Don't listen to her, Gigi. You can make your own choices. You could be the hero. Express yourself in song. I don't know, Tooth Fairy. I just want to get out Espresso. of here. Espresso! Why can't I drive a double-decker? Why can't I be a cake of carrots. Why can't I take a break? Why can't I be a background character? I've got one not to you, fun. I know it's hard that I'm just gone. I did a call on two that far. Take it from me, you've got to face reality. Or else you'll be the with regret. I'm still in love.
Soleil. I'm sending you to space. Space? What? Ah, I have tried to show you the answers, Gigi, but now you must find them for yourself. There is someone I want to meet who will help you show you your true purpose. You don't own me. I'm my own biscuit. This is for your own good, Gigi. In that case, it's not going along. Show those away, Jazz. Let's go, guys. running at her to others, unable to make a stand for his friends. Will Gingy learn not to run? Will Flake ever show up? Will Quality Street be safe? And will Banana and Gingy? <laughs> get it on. Let's, Let's get, get ready to crumble! You get a 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 crumble! Final Frontier. 
The final sets change. Gingy and the gang fled from the doomed factory at the will of the Tooth Fairy. She bid them ascend to the stars and find the Great One, the one who knows all. Only then could they save Quality Street. They bounded across the cosmos until they found their way to Mars. Pace me, this is heaven. <gasps> oh, I claim this land for the country of Great Britain. I yeah. beg your pudding! <laughs> Tough luck, my ginger nuts. This is quite clearly the conquest of Scotland <laughs> and her magnificent spaceship, Sputnikola Sturgeon. Oh, <laughs> and <laughs> greetings, <laughs> guys. <laughs> greetings. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> Greetings, travellers! Someone had fun at King's Affair. <laughs> this must be the one the two fairies spoke of. Welcome to Mars. We are the Martians, and I am Minnie Greg. Do you see that speck on the horizon? That ginormous cream egg? Yes, that great egg, or as we like to call him, Greg. Huzzah! Greg? Greg cares for us. Greg watches over us. He's clearly just. Huzzah! And I lead the Greg. Orion, chant. We love Greg. We love Greg. And we love Mini Greg. 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 I am the embodiment of Greg's will. Huzzah! Your holy trinity. Hold on, I'm getting a. Getting a message. Greg, is that you? Greg, the great chocolatey overlord in the sky. Greg, can you hear me? Greg, are you receiving me? Greg, are you there? Greg, say something, Greg! Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, yeah. Fine. yeah. Uh, yeah pretty full tonight. Yeah, it's a pretty full house. Um, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Well, what's the reason for your call? Why are you calling us? At this hour, of all hours, Greg, um, you're, you, you want the Martians to do what? I mean, if you insist, you are the boss. Uh, uh, thanks, Greg. Greg wants you, the Martians, to demonstrate your love to me, Mini Greg, through performative dance. Oh, that's the 15th time in a row! Responsibilities to bake goodies and bananas. Join us, we have no cares here, no responsibilities to each Surely other. Surely I can't just run away from them all. Sure, you can. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> if you worship running away the same way we worship Greg, then your life will be oh so simple, Gingy. Oh, Gingy, oh boy, I, I really don't know about Sometimes this. Sometimes you've just got to break a few eggs. You would break Greg? Yes. Oh, no, 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 we couldn't break him. We saw him being created. He is so. 
Lord. You saw the conception of Greg. Oh, oh, I've made a huge error of judgment. Did, did, what do we do? What, what do we do? do? Calm down, guys. We love the smutty. 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 Well, b b Banana's gone. Someone needs to take her place. You want me to lead, but why? <coughs> we need you, Lederhosen. <laughs> Okay. Okay, follow me. Back in the factory, Banana found herself facing her biggest challenge yet. A geriatric dictator and an irate infant. The cheapest cinema trip ever. <laughs> oh, what do you mean you can't remember? It's true, I can't. Ah, my prepubescent brain can't cope. Look here, this is embarrassing. Uh, uh, if you don't cooperate, you don't want to know oh, what will. Oh, you bend me to death? Why I water? Hold me back, come on. <laughs> you won't get away with this bad brie. Ah, oh, looks like someone wants a tickle from the tickle stick. <gasps> tickle, tickle. <laughs> Milky, silence the banana. It's rack time. <laughs> ha! That's oh. a good gag. No. Oh. They were all so horrible to you. Yeah, they're not perfect, but they are my friends and... <laughs> and they threw that birthday party for me that time. <laughs> Bounty. Yep. What is all of this? I, I'm just so sick of everything. Bounty, I'm sorry, but you are different. What? And I should know. You know that deep yearning for acceptance you feel inside. Yeah. Well, I feel it too. Really? They say you can be anything you want to be when you grow up. As it transpires, some of us are destined to be the losers. People like you and me. These feelings of loneliness are inevitable. I was in love once. Never again. <laughs> Everyone looked at us so strangely. She didn't seem to mind, but she was beautiful, kind, loving. I couldn't understand what she was doing with me. So I ran. That was a lifetime ago, back when my name was still Broccolo, the Tooth Fairy's love. <laughs> you were Broccolo the whole time. I was Broccolo the whole time. You were Broccolo this whole time. I was Broccolo, whole time. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, Banana, you did throw that lovely party for Bounty. <laughs> it's true. I am what Tooth Fairy Godmother has been longing for for all these years. And, well, the thing is, I've been longing for her for all these years, too. What do you do when you think you're in love? What do you do when you've met the one? But the fit isn't perfect, not hand in glove. Then it looks easier to run. Love is never easy, but is it worth it? Stop. 
stem the tide. Yet my love, my love still grows. It would be so much easier if I felt nothing at all. Would he leave me, keep running, answer if I call? In my nature to keep running, to leave and not come back. Someone who's there stopping me in my track. You have this pull on me, and I don't know what to do. Is it time to say goodbye? I'll fight to see it through. Love is never She doesn't play on my mind Her smile, her wit How did I leave her behind? She was my first, my last My vitamin hit Opposites attracted An almost perfect fit You have this pull on me And I don't know what to do Is it time to say goodbye? Like an eel? <laughs> what? She, she just slipped through your fingers. Like an eel. Yes! Exactly yeah. like that, Bounty! <laughs> Still, Ooh. sometimes I feel that without two feet, I'll never love again. <laughs> but with her? <laughs> made anything as impressive and undeniably capitalistically excellent as that egg. I mean, look at that egg. Yeah. I'm not emotionally warm. Okay. <laughs> the tides are finally turning in our favour, my pretty. There are no tides, as there's no moon. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Barbara. I'm bored! Oh. I thought turning the moon into a tree meg would make everything feel better. Why do I still want more? I mean, what can we do now? We could embark on philanthropy. <laughs> I know. We sell the cream egg. No, no, no. We no. sell the cream egg. Oh. Yes. We're going to need some help with this. And I know just the guy. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, on the surface of Mars, Gingy's urge to run had corrupted the others. They became lazy, lethargic, and lackluster. The Martians followed their every beck, call, and whip. Oh, this running thing seems to be really doing bits. Oh, you just stand faster for me, thank you. 
Jinji, what's the plan? Uh, I don't really know, to be honest. Do you guys want more banning? No. I want more planning. <laughs> <laughs> but we're happy here. What about the squeakies on Earth? What about them? They're in trouble. Mrs. Badbury's not going to stop at the world. She wants the whole universe. But we're happy here. We don't have to do anything. Banana wouldn't give up. Well, if Banana's so great, how come she got captured? Oh. Um, no, no, guys, really, it's really hot. If you please, can you... Oh. Jinji, you've become cruel. You don't care about anyone. True, I don't care. Why should I care? I am literally designed to run an evil corporation. <laughs> you were made by Badbury. Jinji? Why didn't you tell us? You were supposed to lead us. Lead the hose of... <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, all you've done is hold us back. Were you working for her all along? No, I just couldn't take the responsibility. And... <laughs> we're, not, not, we're not a responsibility. We're your friends. Where do yeah. you be? Oh, fine. Go. You won't get far. You need me. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need anybody. Gingy! There you Tim are. Barry, where have you been? Oh, I was involved in an extremely protracted subplot in which I gathered a group of misfit toothpaste together to take down Mrs. Badbury. But it was cut from the script due to irrelevance. <laughs> um. Okay. Gingy! There Thank you are. Thank goodness. Where are all your nice friends, darling? You know. Harry McClary, soft Brexit, and that weird kid with the E numbers. <laughs> Are you going to leave me too? Oh, Gingy, I am your tooth fairy godmother. I will always be with you, like flossing, hopefully. <laughs> Once a day, guys, it's not that difficult. But if I follow my purpose and become the new Badbury, then I'll have to betray all my friends. And if I keep running, I just seem to upset everyone. Gingy. Do you know why I brought you to space to shoehorn in a bunch of chocolate puns? Correct. <laughs> it was also to show you a life of only running. Look at the Martians. They have no responsibilities and they've nearly made themselves extinct. I thought you could learn a valuable lesson from them. Remember that someone I wanted you to meet? Oh yeah, Minnie Greg. Who's Minnie Greg? <laughs> His name is Galaxy, and he runs this universe. He's intelligent, creative, and kind. Ah, Toothy, you flatter me. The narrator? Why, yes, Gingy. I am your godmother, and he is your god. He's your god. He's oh, god. god. <laughs> You'll be fine, sweetie. The universe is at my whim. It cascades and dilates with a tremor of my mighty hand. See my form and tremble! <laughs> Morris? Well, told you that boring than that too, young man. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, it's me. God. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> I have died with the cosmos. I have bitten chunks out of the midnight sky. I have held suns in my hands. <laughs> Salutations, Tootie. You look as radiant as ever. Oh, listen to the nice man, Gingy. <laughs> Gingerbread man. I've been watching you for some time. I know all about you. You've been watching me? All the time, young one. Even when I'm asleep? Especially when you are asleep. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, what, 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 what have you seen? <laughs> well. <laughs> Gotta keep it clean, guys. I've seen you in pain, young one, emotionally. I've seen you in pain, young one. <laughs> I've seen you shiver. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's plot development. <laughs> I've seen you in pain, young one. I've seen, I've seen you try and solve all your mental anguish by simply, well, running away. 
I don't want a destiny, don't you understand? I don't want to be Beyonce. You don't have to. Decide your own destiny. Be Kelly or all land. My God, you're right. When love takes over. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was, that was really... When love takes over. Wait, when love takes over? Yeah. I, I think I get it now. <laughs> I'm, I'm in space. No! <laughs> I'm in trouble. Try again. I'm in love. Yes, Gingy. Love! No, love's over there, oh, son. sorry. Love! <laughs> the most powerful force in the world, apart from a white woman asking to speak to the manager. <laughs> I know how to love her. I need to stop thinking about myself and start caring about others. It's amazing. I just too fairy. <laughs> I try to never risk it Now I'm much more of a confident biscuit Hear me when I say I'm done running I'm not going away I'm done running It's time to take a stand Now I'm less of the bread And more of the man I won't take flight I'll stay in sight Enough monkey business This all ends tonight I was running away From all that was good And so now I have some thought For food More precisely a banana My potassium queen Smart, kind and curvy, she's all that I need Get off, Lord. I'm done running, toes, ankles, knees to the hips I'm done running, chest, arms and neck to the lips I'm staying still I stayed still! Well done, Zinzy Hear me when I say I'm done running you so Just turn around. around I'm not going away Thank you, Morris slash Galaxy slash Narrator. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm a deity, not a wetty. Just, just, just the one? Maybe. Wait, one. All oh, right, OK. Yep. <laughs> Don't get too excited. <laughs> Gonna take you to the Milky Way to train you up, whoa, son. Whoa, where's the Milky Way? Is that <laughs> like a, whoa, what are you doing on my back? You're the god. Oh, my god. I am Yoda. I am Yoda. This is a Star Wars reference. But you're so heavy. Do not believe I'm not in danger. <laughs> supposed to lead a rebellion from here. I hate space. There's no gravity. There's no nothing. Well, well, maybe if you hadn't got us into this bloody ton of a mess when you got us into this stupid Ooh, rebellion. I voted against this whole enterprise. Oh, you yes. English dragged us into it. Brexit. <laughs> Did someone say Jason Bourne, Bill? No. <laughs> Wait a sec. That's Gingy! It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I'm sorry I ran, guys. I now understand the importance of friendship and steroids. <laughs> Asteroids. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that, Blue. Our space jamboree is over. 
It's time to return to Quality Street and put an end to all this nonsense. For banana. For broccolo and for love. For space. For my jolly good fellow. For a second referendum! <laughs> now it's really not the time. That's what Teresa said. Oh, for Quality Street. Second referendum! <laughs> So I taught Gingy the power of friendship and love, and not a moment too soon, as Badbury and Milky were preparing to sell the cream egg.
right, settle down, settle down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you like to own the moon? Yeehaw! Oh, Bounty, say your bit, there's a good girl. Excellent news! <laughs> now, to conduct this auction, we have a celebrity guest! Oh, oh my god. Look, if you had one shot or one opportunity to buy the moon, even though it's a cream egg, what? would you capture it or just let it slip? Yo, 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 his palms are sweaty. He oh, and that marks the start of the auction already. So, put your hand up, ladies and gentlemen, for a chance to buy this fantastic Ooh. cream egg. Can I get a one, 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 one oh. from anyone in the audience there? That's a one, putting us up there. Raise that to a 10 down here, that a 20 already, sir. And oh, it's a 30. Oh, great. Yeah. So much involvement tonight. I love it, fantastic. Raise that to a 50 back right there. Up. Anyone else? 70 down there. Anyone else wants to get involved? You don't yeah, actually have to pay, don't worry about oh. it. You got Do you want to get a oh, another one over here? Oh, 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 that's the highest bidder. This guy is so oh, keen. Two hundred billion pounds. Come wow. sign your check. What a guy. Get on up here. Man in the no, green shirt. Let's give him a hand. Me. <laughs> Come on. Right, for you. I like your shirt. Very nice shirt. There you go. Come in for the photo. So kind of you. We're going to do a picky. We're going to do a silly one. Silly one. Silly silly one. one. Tongue, tongue out. Tongue out. Oh. 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 Right. Cheers, Milky. See you later. Right. God changed yeah. my life. Sign my t-shirt. Sign my t-shirt. Sign my t-shirt. Oh, right. Maybe we'll move this way. Maybe we'll move this way. What are we doing? Question. <laughs> Humiliating a civilian in a public forum. forum. No, 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 I, I mean the egg, the factory, the dated naughty rapper reference. My daughter, what are you doing? I'm not your daughter. Everything Ooh. I have done is to make you happy. What can you even do with a cream egg? <laughs> it's a feature, it's a talking point. You, what are you going to do with it? Uh. Oh, I've never heard that no, one. No, never. Squeaking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, that's really sweet, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Bounty. Yes. <laughs> Off we go. Bounty. Yes. Bad break. We return. You were supposed to be the chosen one. What? Look, everything I've done is to try to help oh, you, all Bounty. I was That's back. not true. Oh, bye bye, coconut. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of you, Badbury. I've had enough. I'm leaving. You have a lovely signature. Thank you for your hospitality. Lovely, isn't it? You have a lovely home. <laughs> oh, where's it from? Well, uh, <laughs> so sorry we all had to witness that. Everybody give it up for... Mark. Oh, another one. <laughs> he wants a slice of this. He so. wants a slice of this. Let's go for brunch. <laughs> oh. Well, apart yeah. from getting a lunch, a lunch, a brunch <laughs> date with Mark, um, that, went, that went terribly. <laughs> Shut it, you milky munch. Loud and clear. <laughs> Yeah. Why do I still miss toothpaste? Oh. I've got everything I ever dreamed of, but why do I still have this deep aching inside? Toothache, you might say. <laughs> I hate you oh. so much! Look, quality Street is an idea of equality, and, and you just can't destroy ideas. Look at Slankets! Me wearing a slanket. You better stop. <laughs> well, Milky, 
Hmm? <laughs> I know exactly what we need to do now. What? If the happy, clappy residents of Quality Street love their fellow chocolates so much, let's give them all the chocolate they can imagine. Wait, I don't follow. We melt the egg. That's insane. We melt the egg! What? <laughs> Betray me too, are you, Milky? Are you? No. Good. Let's melt that egg. You really liked Bounty, didn't you? <laughs> Go on, Milky! The egg isn't going to melt itself! Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne, Bill. <laughs> now I'm past the guards, it's time to dismantle Badbury's military industrial complex to save the world. All in time for afternoon tea. Who are you? Oh, the name's Breadman, Gingy Breadman, and I'm done running. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Crunchy two! It's too late, Crunchy one. Remember the fireworks? Remember Venice? Couldn't walk for weeks. <laughs> we were so young, so naive, so untouched by the atrocities of life. But we were supposed to spend the rest of our lives together. <laughs> At least I get to spend the rest of mine with you. I love you, Crunchy, too. And I, you. <laughs> I'm too old for this world. Wait until I stay on the job. <laughs> No, I, I didn't mean... No, I, no, what did you mean? Oh, because you've got so much to live for. Oh, do I now? I'm on my deathbed. Oh, don't be like that, Crunchy Oh, well, you've got lots to live for. Oh, no. Great. Oh, I'm sorry. Great next time. <laughs> no, Crunchy Two. You shall be avenged. I'm going to batter you, Bremen. I've got 44 Magnums, the most powerful ice cream in the world. <laughs> my question to you is, do you feel lucky, punk? Oh, don't, not with her, not. <laughs> Oh, my goodness, Gingy. What are you doing here, my coconut companion? Oh, uh, well, you know, you know, same old, same old. Uh, uh, why did you come back? I'm a badass biscuit with nothing to lose. <laughs> I've been running my whole life, but now it's time to take a stand. I also think I destroyed a loving marriage back there. <laughs> I'm here to save you and Banana. To save me? And banana. <laughs> Wait, you came back to save me? And banana. <laughs> Listen, Bounty, although you annoy me to no end, yeah. and you look like Ooh, an absolute. Okay. <laughs> your family, Bounty. You're kind, you're caring, and. Oh. Your crocs are quite fetching. <laughs> yeah, they are ergonomic. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Bouncy. Nice to meet you, Gingy. Where's Banana? Okay, yeah, so um, she is in the factory, but you'll, you'll never find her. Uh, Mrs. Bradbury's got impeccable lighting cues to take us take the work, unless oh. there are hundreds of crunchies guarding the place. <laughs> oh, hundreds of crunchies. Just like that. Oh, what are we gonna do? There are do? too many of them, despite my rippling <laughs> six-pack and debonair attitude. This is not helpful. Sorry, we are choco late. I was dropping a big shirt. So was I. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Get no, more no, ridiculous. Bounty, we're sorry. Okay. Sorry for being mean. And sorry for pouring haggis in your socks. You did what? <laughs> oh, crunchy! Oh, 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 oh. Just because I'm Scottish, you think I'm gonna do some sort of Mel Gibson thing here? Gibson! Save the world, they said. 
But I, thought, I can't stop thinking about Jinji. I feel like some sort of sweetie Icarus, blown too close to the bun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I need to get out of here. <laughs> ah, who knew? <laughs> Save you, banana. I've learned the meaning. Is that of a muscle suit? Oh. What, what the hell, no? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> <Oops. laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> you came back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but not 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 for you. I mean, there was just there was a curtain open, and Shut I think thought there was some. Shut up, My turn. My turn. My turn. <laughs> Gingy, I, I've, I've never felt this way about anyone before. <laughs> I quit! <laughs> All right. Um. Lucky girl. <laughs> One crush bridge coming up. Okay. Uh, don't think I love you. You, you. you love me? Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I'm ready to settle down. I wanted to have a gingerbread house together. <laughs> Wait, is the house made of flesh or am I made of house? Oh, oh hey guys! Oh, the whole gang is here. What happened? Oh, we murdered oh, several oh, crunches. <laughs> well done. <laughs> oh, hey! Ha. Hey, banana. Uh, oh, you're looking ripe. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so sorry for whatever it means to you. Oh, it's all right, it's all right. I just I oh. didn't think you liked me that much, but oh, it's nice to have my best friend mm. back. Okay, let's not push that. Okay. One. Um, <laughs> let's go get Barbary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Milky bar? Milky? Milky? How about purple with a streak of justice? <sighs> ah, the baked goodies. You and your well-formulated and clever entry lines. <laughs> well, it's too late. I'm going to destroy the world. You <laughs> wouldn't! I think it's clear by this point I'm pretty invested. <laughs> you won't get away with this, Badbury. <laughs> She loves, she loves me. Good for you, mate. <laughs> We've infiltrated your factory and we're here to save the inhabitants of Quality Street so the banana and I can get a house together. A normal house, not a house made out of my flag. <laughs> wait, wait. You and banana are... You know... What? You... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Punching a bitch. Yeah. Oh, you. I got you, girl. <laughs> Gingy, uh, you've changed. Not as much as you, though, Broccolo. <laughs> you were Broccolo the whole time. She was Broccolo the whole time. You've got a weed on your head. <laughs> yes, I was Broccolo the whole time. But it's too late now. I'm going to melt that egg and destroy Quality Street. And it's all hooked up to this big button. Hey, guys! I'm going to press this button and every one of you will be toast. I'm going to press it. Hooray! No! I'm going to press it. Hooray! No! My green queen. <laughs> my fairy light. My viridescent effervescence. My lover. How could you? I've been yearning all day, every day, and you couldn't even give me a call. I've grown old. I've taken up paying kids for their enamel. Where have you been? Is that true? Yes, it's rather a warped business model. No, no, the, the stuff about waiting. Are you kidding? I'd wait forever just to see you again. Aww. 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 
But, <laughs> but you're perfect. I'm not perfect. <laughs> I do have a yacht, though. <laughs> what have you done to yourself? I, I thought you didn't want me. So I ran. And I sought revenge on everyone who ever made me feel that way. But we all feel that way. <coughs> what? <laughs> what? So easy to feel lonely. Put your hands up if you've ever felt lonely. <laughs> Get that hand in the air, down. my friend. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Maybe the other one too. Whoa. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Ruthie, I I'm so sorry. Do you think you could forgive me? Of course. You're my Rocky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what cloying sentimentality. Hey, man, come on. People paid for jokes, not all Mark cards. Oh, are you lashing out because you also feel lonely? Yeah! Oh. 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 Sorry about that. Oh. Okay, so I don't have to be the bad guy. You can be what you want. Sometimes what you have is right where you started. I don't have to run anymore. You can catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Not so conclusion. You also have something that's going to be rosy, didn't you? You've got one thing. Me. Can we wrap this up, boys? I'm missing bodyguards. Can we? Can it, losers? I'm fed up with you guys. All my life I've looked up to the stars. Stop and doing exposition. But I want to expose myself. <laughs> Milky, what are you doing? I'm finishing exactly what you started, Babri. Now, you melt that egg or the hero biscuit gets it. Milky, I was just doing it for attention. But I'm the Milky Bar kid, I'm the bad guy. Milky, we don't need to be bad. But we do, we're the baddies. Milky, no, Please. you're not. Milky, it's okay. Marius Bartholomew. Well, only my mum knows my... Mum? <laughs> He's our son. Why have you been hiding him? I, I thought you didn't want us, so I, I ran and I took him with me. You don't have to run anymore. <laughs> Milky? <laughs> you go either. I love you. Is this a monologue or...? No, Milky. <laughs> this is a dialogue. This always should have been a dialogue. Oh. What about... <laughs> Stop. 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 What, what is that? <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> what about a trialogue? <laughs> 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 I like your dramatic monologue earlier. Oh, thanks, Mum. I mean, Mum, I mean, Mum, no, no. No. Mum. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone! Uh, Mayor Raisin! You saved the world! But how did you survive? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mayor Raisin faked her own death to avoid a libel case with Nestle. <laughs> After eight, an iron brew live in a candy cane house together. 
They are happy, but half of Iron Brew still wants to leave. <laughs> Blue Smarty was reunited with the unknown Smarty. Gingy and Banana got married. Banana <laughs> has a bun in the oven. Milk Arias and Bounty opened a lactose-free sweet shop together, which also sells crops. <laughs> and Brocky and I opened a dental surgery together, which specializes in teeth removal. Fiona was our first <laughs> and favorite customer. <laughs> Welcome back to Quality Street, where nothing will ever go wrong again. Look around, all of you. There's so much love to share. I'm glad you've learned that it's quite cool to be someone who cares. You only pause to take a breath and stop running from the strife. You will see that in the end, it's love that colors life. So now get ready to be joyful. No need to look so blue. Fire, let ourselves be happy. Find great comfort anew. Don't be green with envy. Say hello to a new day. For there are silver linings in a plethora of shade. When green seem a little duller. Moon and back, although it's a green When I gaze upon its surface, you pop into my head. Oh, love is pretty lovely, you've opened up my eyes. That said goodbye to any gray, you've colored in my sky.
so, so, so much for coming. We really, really appreciate it. Um, there are a couple of buckets going around the auditorium collecting for charity, the East Anglian Children's Hospice. So give what you can. And thanks again so, so much for coming.